all right what is happening guys welcome back to another video in my channel so in today's video i'm going to cover everything that you need to know about how to set up your shopify shipping settings in the most proper way i will walk you through the whole process and i will share with you a tip that i'm personally using myself to increase my not only conversion but also my profit by 10 percent for each customers that purchase from my site now most of my videos on my channel are about drop shipping but even if you are shipping your own products or you're using it for fulfillment center this video is still going to be applicable for you although setting up your shipping settings on shopify it seems really simple you're still going to see increase in your conversions and in your profit if you are going to name your shipping rates correctly and of course if you are going to set up your pricing correctly as well even if you could increase your conversions or your profit with like even a half percent looking at the bigger scale that can be massive massive to your business all right just before we dive in straight to the content make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to to not miss out any upcoming video and if you want to download a full case study of my first Shopify store that did 85,000 in sales within 40 days you will have a link in the description below so with that being said let's dive straight into the video all right so this is an example store that I set up for this tutorial so this is the home page of Shopify now all you need to do is to go to settings then you want to go over to shipping and delivery so over here in the top section this is going to be your general setup or your shipping as general and just beneath that you have an option to actually create a custom shipping rates for let's say if you want to have different shipping times or different shipping prices to individual products on your store so this is exactly where you do that so let's start from the general shipping settings let's click on the manage rates so over here you will be able to see all the products that are in your store and as you can see this shipping policy is going to be to all of your products now down here is going to be your shipping address it's going to be automatically generated by the address that you registered your shopify account with in case you're like myself and you're doing drop shipping you're going to have Oberlo over here and you don't need to change anything but if you do ship your own stock or you have a fulfillment center make sure that you go ahead and add it in your addresses now in case you don't know how to do that all you need to do is to go back to settings and then you want to go over to locations and then you need to add the location that you're going to ship your products from all right moving back to the shipping policy so over here basically it's going to generate automatically a domestic shipping and rest of the world shipping again if you are like myself you don't really need to set up a domestic shipping shipping why because all of our products come from china but if you ship your products from a different location maybe your home or a fulfillment center you want to make sure that you do add another shipping zone so i'm going to delete this shipping zone over here so i'm going to click delete and then i'm going to click again on those dots over here and click delete and the last thing that i want to do is to delete the rates for rest of the world and we're going to set up everything from the beginning properly all right so now we don't have any rates we don't have any specific countries this is going to be our general shipping policy for all the world and for all of our products so to be able to do that all we need to do is to click on add rate and then make sure that you use this option over here now the second option is let's say you are from united states and using usps you can go ahead and click on that and it's going to calculate you automatically what are going to be your shipping rates but i don't really recommend using different prices of shipping just you need to make it as simple as possible so over here we're going to name our shipping rate most of beginners just go with standard or shipping or free shipping after generating Generating hundreds of thousands of dollars on Shopify we found out that if you're going to name your shipping rate in a way that is going to look like more high quality or more like fancy shipping you will see increase in your conversion rates of course it's not going to be something massive but as I mentioned before even if it's going to be 0.5 in a bigger scale that is going to make a huge difference so I personally myself instead of going and typing in standard shipping or free shipping or just shipping I'm going to type in something like that premium security your shipping or what you can do is you can use instead of that insured track shipping so you can use instead something like that now i know it might sound silly but if you're like me and you use facebook ads to drive traffic to your store people have a bad experience with slow shipping times when they purchase from facebook so something as simple like that can really push them through the door make them to go ahead and complete the purchase and not worrying that they're going to receive their product in the next year now moving on to the shipping prices so this is where you actually price your shipping rate now in case it's going to be free you can go ahead and just leave it as it is and offer free shipping I personally recommend it to charge shipping for your products you need to understand something very very simple people that shop from private Shopify stores or buying products from Facebook ads those people are not looking for a cheap price they are not looking for a bargain I have students that are afraid to charge shipping or they are afraid to price their product a little bit too high you're not selling on eBay you're not selling on Amazon so you're not here to give them a deal you 
are here to sell them a unique product that only you sell this product or at least you're going to give them the feeling that you are the main brand of the product and you're going to offer them the best service that they can possibly get all right so how much should you charge for your shipping so to keep it as simple as possible something that most of the top brands in the world and i personally myself use is that i'm pricing my products all right my products i price them at the price that i would offer if i had free shipping so let's say that i sell a product for 25 bucks and i would like to charge 10 bucks for shipping so what i would do is i would sell the product for 35 dollars and i'm going to charge 10 percent from the product price again i would sell the product for 35 on the site and i will add 10 percent in my shipping rate so i'm selling the product for 35 dollars so i'm going to charge around 350 395 for shipping and this way i can squeeze an extra 10 percent for each customer that purchased from me i don't recommend it to go over 10 percent because i really try to make it almost almost as free shipping so if my customer already took the action added to cart completed the shipping information form and then he needs just to pay an extra 10 percent for the shipping he's not going to bail out just because he's going to pay a little bit just a little bit for the shipping this is also the reason why i actually use those shipping rate names because i let them feel that they're really going to get like premium service premium shipping and then they don't have a problem to pay an extra 10 percent for the shipping now you can do whatever you decide to do but this is personally what i'm doing myself and that works great for me but you can go ahead and offer free shipping or you can offer free shipping above a certain amount so let's go ahead and type in 395 all right for the example let's say we're going to charge 395 for the shipping now let's say that we want to offer free shipping above let's say 50 bucks all that we need to do is to click over here on add conditions you're going to choose based on order price and over here we're going to set up a maximum price of 50 dollars so it means that every customer that his cart value is or 50 dollars or less is going to be charged 395 for the shipping so now let's go ahead and click done now to be able to offer the free shipping above 50 dollars all we need to do is to go ahead and click on add rate we keep everything the same we're going to choose the same shipping name that we named it before we're going to leave it for zero dollars which is going to be free then we're going to click again on add conditions based on order price and over here we're going to type in 50 dollars and one cent after that we're going to set up done and now basically every customer that is going to purchase above 50 dollars going to get free shipping on his order i personally don't offer free shipping but it's really up to you i do really believe that if somebody really comes to your site and he is willing to buy from a private shopify store right you're still not a brand if you're watching this video you're probably just in the beginning so nobody actually really knows your brand and if people come to your site they like the product and they do want to purchase it from you they're not going to bail out just because you charge an extra 10 percent for the shipping all right so after that basically all you need to do is to click on save now in case that you do ship your products from home or you're using a fulfillment center let me show you how you can go ahead and add a separate shipping rate by a specific country so all you have to do is to click on create shipping zone then you're going to name the shipping zone let's say us after that go ahead and type in the country so let's do united states you choose that and after that you click done and then all you have left to do is just to add the shipping rates and the the prices that you want to charge for this specific country and hit that save button all right so this is how you set up your general shipping rates now let's say that you have a product that you want to charge maybe a different price for shipping maybe offer free shipping or doing free plus shipping all you need to do is just to click on create new profile and then just pick a name for this shipping policy so let's do product 2 and then adding the product by clicking over here you're going to add the specific product that you want and click done and then you're going to create the shipping zones that the same way that we did in the general shipping rates and what you're going to set up over here is going to be specifically just for the products that you selected over here all right moving over to local delivery so that is basically if you are willing to do delivery on your own instead of using a shipping company so let's click on manage and over here you want to make sure that you have the right address that you're going to ship from then you want to click on this location offers local delivery over here you basically want to choose if it's going to be a delivery by radius or you're going to have a local delivery for a certain postcodes then you're going to price your local delivery and then the delivery information just over here overall i don't really recommend doing that but let's move on all right local pickup in case that you do offer pickup all you have to do is just to click on this box over here then you want to choose your processing time so how long it's going to actually take you to process the order and have it ready your pickup address and your pickup instructions next we have is the packages so in case you are using a custom package you can go ahead and add the sizes of the package 
to just over here you can choose whether it's a box envelope or soft package in case you are like myself and you're doing drop shipping your suppliers are the one that actually ship the product so we don't need really to worry about it and you can leave it as it is as a default then you have the pack and slip template even if you are shipping your products on your own you don't really need to adjust it because it's not going to contribute to you in any way and the last thing that we have is accounts and integrations so let's click on that so the first option is let's say you have a fedex account or ups account you can go ahead and connect your account just over here so you choose which one you want and you click connect account and the second part over here if you do have a third party fulfillment most of the fulfillment centers they have an app that you can just connect to your shopify store and then they will get all of your orders but if you have somebody that fulfills that for you but he doesn't have a shopify app all you have to do is just to click on add fulfillment center you add the name and the email and basically now after every time that you're going to get an order this email is going to get notified and this way they will be able to fulfill the order all right that is pretty much it for the video so i hope you took some value and you enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like and comment down below and of course don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you will get notified when i post new content of course don't forget the free case study that you can download of our first shopify winning store that is going to be i believe the first link in the description below all right thank you so much for watching the video check out those two over here and until next time my friends peace